2009, there was an attempt to shut down St. Jean's School, but the elected board, school board members, after seconds over thought, after speaking with members of the community, decided that St. Jean's School had too many positive attributes. It was far too important to the community and far too important to the students and parents, as well as the teachers and faculty, to keep the school open. Now since then, all we've heard is, we're going to shut down St. Jean's School. You hear that continuously. We're going to shut down St. Jean's School. So parents might be um, negatively affected as to whether or not they should enroll their students or their children at St. Jean's School. But a lot of good things have happened since 2009. The community is a working class community. It is a blue collar community. Parents walk their children to school. A good many of them walk their children to school. Yet at the same time, some parents have to drive their children to other schools because the curriculum and the programs don't exist. We would put forth the argument and recommendation that if you were to provide the same quality of programming, same quality of curriculum, like French Immersion, for example. If French Immersion was provided at St. Jean's School, the numbers would grow immensely, make no mistake about it. A facility that's going to be built just one block away from St. Jean's School, $12 million. There's an increase, there's an incline of young families moving in. So we believe that we need to take a second look at that. Uh, according to the numbers that have been provided, uh, West Kent will be able to accommodate the children uh, projected to arrive in the school next year. Uh, in the past, our school has typically been under 200 students, and we have been very, very lucky at that school to have had extra space in which a uh, before and after school program was offered. We realize that before and after school care is not under the umbrella of the public schools branch, and as such, it cannot factor into many of the decisions that the public uh, schools branch has to make. However, we want to highlight to the directors how invaluable accessible for accessible before and after school care is to many working parents of, with elementary school-aged children.